Hey strangers, is this good lighting? I don't know, this feels like maybe it's whatever. We're gonna roll with this. It's the first time it's been sunny in weeks. In this week's video, we're going to document the process of week two of our bathroom renovation. So if you haven't seen the first video or first two videos, go back and watch those or watch them later, whatever, I don't care. In this week's vlog, if you will, we're gonna be tackling the kind of second phase of renovating the bathroom before we get to all of the finishing touches. So last week was all of the demo and now this week we're going to finish uh, strapping out the walls. We're going to insulate the exterior wall that's in here because this is an old Edwardian home and it's just a double brick kind of insulation on the exterior. So we're gonna insulate that and then we're gonna throw up the drywall and we're gonna begin tiling. So that's the plan. I can give you a rundown of what happened last week just to kind of bring you up to speed and some of the, the hiccups that we encountered along the way. So here's where we're at to give you a sense of where we're starting this week. So all of the demo is done. The plumbing's been wrapped in. My partner's done some blocking. This is for the vanity that he built that we'll be installing. Move the lights to where we would like them to be. We did all this, well, my partner did all of this strapping. And as you can tell, the walls are really, really not level. So that's fun. And then we also ran into the hiccup of the double brick kind of interior needing to be parged before we could move on to insulating it. If you're new here, you should subscribe just so that you can follow along with the process of this whole extreme. Is it extreme? I don't know. I mean, like we gutted, we gutted the bathroom. So yeah, feel free to follow along as we kind of move through this process and the process of moving back into our home. Check it out if you want to see that kind of stuff. So last week we did all the demo and the tub was also dry fitted, which is great. And the plan for today is to insulate this wall you can see behind me and then hopefully we'll also start to get some some drywall up so that's that's exciting we're moving into the seeing things happen stage i thought we could have a quick chat while i'm making lunch which is going to be potato leek soup so that we have something to kind of munch on for the rest of the week and introduce the video a little bit more. Just to give a little bit more background on what it is that we're doing with the bathroom and why now. So it's early January and we're on day 10 of the reno, I believe. It is our only bathroom, it's an Edwardian home. We had to move back home um, from where we were living across the country because we got laid off due to the pandemic and neither of us are working right now. We're really fortunate to own our home for sure. We've had our home for like 15 years, so also times were completely different than when we bought it. Like you didn't even need a down payment or anything like that. So um, we're super fortunate to be here. And when we remortgaged the house uh, a couple years ago, we made sure that we were approved for, or our mortgage broker suggested that we just get approved for a line of credit that would give us some options in the future. Well, we had always intended to renovate the bathroom. When we were living out west, we became a little bit spoiled as far as having storage and a vanity and I don't know, just like the tub in the current bathroom was really shallow. So I'll put up some images of the, the previous bathroom here. We're hoping to do this reno this year, basically, while we're laid off rather than my partner um, having to take time off work later after already being laid off for a good chunk of the year. Um, we decided to dip into our line of credit to do this now and then, you know, be able to kind of just hop back into employment if and when that comes up again. So that's why we're doing this now. The bathroom was in pretty good, pretty good, pretty decent shape. It was functional, um, but it's definitely like a little bit dated and like I said, um, we really wanted to have the option for storage and the vanity and the old tiles were kind of cracking and crumbling and there was nothing super wrong with them, but we we're just like, let's just do this. And 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse the leeks, so I'll come back in a second. Just boiling some potatoes, gonna throw the leeks in there. I have a tripod, but are we using it? No. Just gonna dump these guys in. He just told me I can go check out upstairs. He just finished the insulation and the, I don't know, I don't remember what the board is for the shower. It's like a moisture board. So let's check it out. Whoa, you go away for an hour to make lunch and a lot of things happen. So this is the, the dry board. I don't know. They'll tell me what it is. Diamond backboard? It's diamond backboard. Anyway, yeah, here we are. So this is like the whole air, lower area has been done. And then we did, you know, it's the middle of lockdown and it's pandemic. So we had this insulation lying around. There was no insulation before because it's just the double brick Edwardian home. So we've just thrown up kind of some of the extras that we had in the attic um, to dampen the noise and do that kind of thing. But hey, buddy. Pretty soon there's gonna be drywall in here. So yeah, we'll check back soon and see what it looks like with the drywall. We just started this this vlog and it's day 10 and I think we're gonna get pretty far today. So that's, that's exciting. I let my garlic grow a little bit too much. Oops. So we started a YouTube channel. Uh, if you know me and you're judging right now, I guess that's that's fair. But also, you know what? We're in lockdown. I have been unemployed since March. The editing's actually really fun. And it gives me a reason to get dressed in the morning and kind of, you know, fight some of the sads. So if you feel like following along as we move back into our home, and do some stuff like that, then you should, you should follow along. We're gonna, I've been putting off uh, kind of moving into the house or at least like finishing moving into the house and um, we're gonna do some stuff like that after the bathroom stuff. We're gonna make it look nice. We're gonna do some stuff that we never did in the 10 years that we've lived here. So hit subscribe, man, person. Stranger, probably, yeah, you like a stranger. Anyway, I'm gonna keep making my soup. Maybe we'll check in when it's done. Maybe we won't. A little hot tip for ya. Don't waste your time with regular chili flakes or cayenne pepper. Get the Korean stuff. Get this guy. It's really delicious. Here's the soup. So I thought I'd show you where I just took a shower. It was in this tote, using this hose in this sink. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. It also was, it was pretty messy. I mean, it's basically van life, right? People do this in vans all the time. And here's how we're progressing today. I don't have the light on in here so that we don't have to hear the fan, but First coat of drywall is up and tape. We got the corner bead on and mud it. My partner has a specific kind of technique when it comes to the mud as far as um, putting on multiple coats and only sanding the final. So he'll go in and kind of just like knock off any chunks if he needs to in between coats. And then otherwise, it's just a couple of a couple of thin coats. So that's the plan there. Nothing too exciting. I mean, we'll probably just show you when it's done, but that means that probably tomorrow we'll move on to the floor membrane so that we can get onto tiling soon. So it's another day, another black sweatshirt. We'll check back in when there's something to show. See you then, see you then, see you then, see you then, see you then. This is also how this room is looking. Hey, 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 hey.
people, the artists that really kind of connected with you early on, where you were like, that, you know, being introduced to what, this is what you can do with your instrument. Right, right. You know? Right. Well, yeah, I get it, yeah, because like, you know, because of the way you grew up, at, right? So yeah. I had to, you know, get back to Stanley Clark or Joshua, and start to, like, to departure from upright yeah. to like, almost any possibility at all. Yeah, yeah, and then on one key, one... I don't know what day it is, but here's where we're at. I think there's one more coat of drywall that needs to go on tomorrow, but that's close. Scruples have been filled. And then Pete mortared the shower today. Put up that fiberglass tape so all the screws concealed with the mortar. We're trying out a little shower insert, so we'll see how that goes. And then this is just a little bit to level the floors. I could really go for a real shower again. The plan for tomorrow is to finish the drywall lay down the Dietra mat on the floor. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so lay down the Dietra on the floor and we can start tiling on Wednesday. So we're getting closer to the good stuff. Big day. Ugh, I got the shit job. Big day. Our friend came across this baseboard at another job that he was doing and he's given it to us for free, which is great. It's a big, thick, beautiful baseboard, but it's used, it's painted. So my job today is going to be to scrape this. Up. Scrape this guy! Really looking forward to that. Hooray! got mask mouth, but I'm gonna show you how it's looking. I think it's coming out okay. You could see what I was doing there, but it's coming off pretty good. I've taken off a touch of wood, but more in those like rounded areas, but it'll be fine when we paint it. So now we've just got, we've just got all the rest of these guys to go. So I have gloves, but I'm not wearing them. I've mended myself. But I wanted to show you this cool thing on the baseboard. It really kind of hit my groove, so I want to show you what it looks like. I've been working on it a little bit off camera, and I didn't expect to actually get this much off. So you can kind of see over here, there's a bit of a groove. There's a little bit of a groove right here. It doesn't super show up. I've been able to kind of uncover this little detail, which is quite nice improve my technique a little bit. I'm not as worried about kind of gouging the wood. Where's a, where's a piece of the wood? You can see I've gouged, gouged a little bit of the wood there, but I just kind of smooth it over and then we're gonna go in afterwards with a sander to sand this down. So I mean, so long as it kind of like feels and looks relatively smooth, it'll be okay. And then we're gonna paint it again afterwards. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you this a little bit. Maybe we'll, I don't know how much time we want to spend on this baseboard. I don't know if that's the most exciting part of this video. Is any of it exciting? You should let me know down in the comments if if you even care or if you enjoy watching this, but I'll probably do another little, little montage. Where are we now? In the future? In the past? Who knows? That's Pete. He made it on camera. Got a little... Got a little mask face there. Okay, let's try sanding. <laughs>
stopped for lunch, had a little of the soup that we made the other day, and listened to the new measures that were put in by the Ontario government. So they're good, I think they're good, but it's a bit, uh, we're a bit worried that we may not be able to get the plumber back now. Hopefully we can, cause you know, another 28 days without a, without a toilet is not particularly enthralling. Also 28 days, I don't think we should go to the in-laws anymore to shower. It's a stay at home order. The only issue with that is my eczema does not like not having proper showers. It really doesn't, my, my skin's falling off. Obviously, I agree with the measures, everything's fine. It's fine, it's just, you know, it's an inconvenience, that's all. So this one turned out the best. This one turned out really good. But look at that, we got like most of the paint off. Look at that detail. Oh, hey, hey friend. Get that sweet beat roll high. Boy. She cleans up real nice. Yeah. Now oh, that looks really good. Well, this is good that we're getting this prime now because tomorrow four goes down. So it's day 14. Unfortunately, we didn't get to shower last night, so this isn't this isn't a hipster hat. It's just the hair is beyond refreshing, and we get to shower later tonight, so that's good. Um, yeah, first tile is going down right now, so that's exciting. And the baseboard has been primed, and day 14, right? that's the end of this week so great progress we got the towels down and we should come back next week to see a lot more of the finishes so thanks for coming along for the ride and if you want to see more about where it is that we started then i'll link the previous video with the demo and some of the fixtures and things like that i'll link those where they're supposed to be so thanks for following along. Let me know if you like the the time lapses because that's something we can do more of and you know we're just starting out here so if you enjoyed this video in any sort of way or found it helpful you should consider liking it 
maybe following along just so you can kind of keep up with the progress and see what we do next because there's lots coming up. So thanks for joining us. Bye.